Okay. Hello. Uh, yeah. Oh, here, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... First Mate Rick here, at your service. And welcome back to Minecraft Autumn... Oh, I, I forgot to change the freaking name. Give me a second here. Uh, yeah, this is what I get for <laughs> rushing. Uh, Autumn Mod 7, number... I forget what, so screw that. Uh, type this quickly and change the category to Minecraft instead of Shantae. Uh, th there was a time that I preemptively changed these, and possibly I should go back to that. <laughs> yeah, Anyways, yeah. Well, idea. <laughs> welcome back to Minecraft, not Shantae. That'll have to wait till next week, probably. And uh, yeah, I've been a bit busy since uh, s since last time. I not. Uh, Last time I said I was going to try and use one of those deployers to automatically refill the well, the searing blood, no, not the blazing blood uh, tanks on this, but that proved to be uh, not <laughs> that proved that it didn't work. Uh, but instead, these mechanism pipes do work. Now, where is that configurator? I know I had it in my. It's it's over here. It's my normal inventory. <laughs> Uh, with these, let me first break this one, so it doesn't go flooding in that way again. If I just reconnect this thing, if I can get it to reconnect. Okay, oh, there's always one easy way for it to reconnect, and that's to do that. And then I set that to pull, and then it'll continuously try to pull Blazing Blood out and into the fuel tank so we can remove this i should probably use this new pickaxe uh yeah there ha there has been another crash though this one was due to more stupid reasons that uh, i left the i left the, the computer on whilst it was away for a bit oh that's the delivery uh i can't tell if that's a woman or uh, um, uh, not from the title Dan, from the name I I think there's a spider. I think I saw a spider near you. Okay, yeah, somewhere I... in that direction. Also, cat. Uh, I didn't see it then. Uh, I've also figured out what the buttons are for zooming in the map and out. It's the plus and Y buttons, rather, <laughs> rather standard ones. Um. Let's see. Yeah, we lost quite a lot of gear. We've lost our sword. We've lost our pickaxes, the normal and the silk touch ones, which is why I made two new ones. Uh, we do still have our hammer, though, which is over here. I and a pair I'd, of pants. Yeah, we also lost most of our archmage gear. Instead, I got this this diving equipment from the thermal uh, series, which actually. <laughs> With that, with that installed, the scuba mod that I added is actually completely useless. And uh, yeah, I've just heightened this up a bit. This still works. So far, only one blaze has ended up outside, and well, I killed it quickly enough. Um, beyond that, that yo, uh, yeah, hello, <laughs> okay, uh, lethal life. Thank you for the raid. With four... okay, that is a lot of people. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> Oh, okay. heck, I got jump scared. <laughs> uh, I wasn't expecting oh, it. Uh, <laughs> heart. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, I, thank I, you I, for the I, follow, I, you little rascals. I should put up one of those event boxes to keep track of uh, stuff like that. But thank you for the follow, everyone who followed there. Uh, welcome to the stream. I'm a. Uh, I'm Captain Hillian, and over there is, well, as it's the name marker says, my co-host, Rakir. First mate, Rakir. <laughs> yep. And, <laughs> well, currently uh, currently we're playing Minecraft modded Auto Mod 7, uh, with a few small ones added, though some have been proven to be uh, useless due to, well, this being in the game, in the mods already, once I, <laughs> I added a small scuba you know, mod, which, well, as said before, has proven useless. Uh, welcome to our colony, which we have uh, not too... 
I keep mistaking him for a freaking zombie. Which we've called the Hill Drake Colony at the moment. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give a bit of a tour. <laughs> Uh, over here we have our first builder's hut and a little, well, resting spots for me to change night to day and backwards. Uh, the builder currently needs just some stone. Oh, now that, that's being glitched again. That'll fix itself over time. Uh, this is a little setup that I set up for, well, a coal generator which feeds into power generation, which feeds into a... <laughs> an energy cube for storage and a lot of stuff around it like a distillation chamber and other industrial foregoing stuff this is basically just automatically making latex that i can use for other stuff and yeah here's a bit of a experimental bit that i did with uh, a tree farm and an actual farm using create parts though all of this down down here i've learned is quite unnecessary because of these pieces and to show what this does, well, I'll just let the game tell you. Uh, these contraptions, yeah, they you can't access their inventory whilst they're running, but these can actually empty them out when, the, well, this happens. So all of this underneath here is quite unneeded. <laughs> With item collectors, piping and such. Uh, yeah. Over here we have the restaurant and the chicken pit, which has been completely flooding, which has been completely flooding the colony's warehouse with eggs for the, so I might start to call that. Uh, this over here isn't a soccer field; it's the, actually the town hall. Some of our the houses and the, okay, someone started an upgrade. Uh, the tavern over here, which is currently at level two, same as the town hall. We're basic. We've basically been doing a mixture of true dwarven and fort stone and fortress stuff. Uh, we we were originally going to keep with true dwarven, but that stuff is freaking big. Uh, more housing, second builders hut. Do they need anything? They have everything. They're just being slow with it. Let's see uh, here in the chat. Oh, one that says the town looks cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Leave Life or Leave Alive, or however you pronounce it. It's 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 taking quite a bit. I actually forgot to change the name of the stream beforehand, uh, but I think we're on like the ninth or tenth stream of this by now. Uh, Maybe. And here we have the university, which is uh, was undergoing upgrades. So we yeah we could hire another researcher if we had someone free for that. I'll have to keep an eye on that for <clears throat> in the uh, tavern and a third builder's hut because well these <laughs> one builder is just agonizingly slow two is slow as well and we'll see how we do with three uh, here we have the hospital being upgraded with well uh, i wouldn't be exactly happy <laughs> if i were to run into a hospital and find this so let's just move on um, <laughs> our warehouse, which, like I said, is being flooded with freaking eggs. <laughs> I should empty those out into the transportation tablet that I have. Then we have a forester and a mining turtle that, I, yeah, ran out of power. Uh, basically, I was I was like thinking of using that thing to clear this place out, but it goes a lot faster with hammers. And uh, actually, that reminds me. Okay, uh, it seems during the crash, we also lost our spell book. That's what? going to be a bigger issue. Hmm. Oof. Yeah. And that's what happens when the game crashes and inventory get reset. What the heck are you doing here? If these won't keep finding their way in. I think they're dropping in from somewhere. Or from maybe on top of the roof of the tavern or something, because, well, we dug underground. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe everything we need to do some be... uh, ceiling light. Yeah. Uh, that's most of the cover colony covered. 
This over here is our current portal room, covered by ethereal glass, which we can pass through, but other creatures cannot, including the colonists. We have our Twilight Forest portal, which is new. Uh, we have an, my attempt at wiring, which, well, does... No, not that. Because this <laughs> makes a little creeper face or Mickey Mouse in it. 24 hours and 25 minutes no sleep. Uh, you go sleep then <laughs> before you kill yourself. Yep. Sleep, lad. Sleep. Sleep is important. And yeah, then we have the blue sky portals here. I haven't figured out yet. I we we know in a book how to activate them, but I haven't actually looked into that yet. And this is just random stuff. I'll probably clean it up some other time. Uh, for now, there is a few more things to show. This is just an early setup that I did for tree farming. Just get a bunch of stuff. Uh, and yeah, over here, we have our perpetual blazing blood generator. Uh, basically, what we have here is that I stole a <laughs> I stole a blaze spawn from the Nether with uh, so with Silk Touch and put it in here and used uh, I forget what mod it is specifically, but it is a mod in well the mod pack of course, which allows you to edit uh, mob spawners. The most important of which is that it, this one has had its AI disabled. So even if these little bastards spawn outside of uh, the furnace, they'll be, well, they'll just be killed by the guards. And be they're, con they're continuously being boiled in their own blood. Uh, anything else in there? Yes. And each blaze that dies produces more uh, blazing blood than it costs to kill them. So yeah, it's just perpetually it's just perpetually creating more and more fuel for us to use. So I, I should look if into I should look if this can actually be used for electrical generation or not. Also, give me a second to hide all of those. And over here we just have a smaller one from actual weapon making, such as yeah, steel and slime steel swords. Uh, we can make queen slime, though we should probably be careful with that because we need yeah uh, co we use that yeah, we use cobalt to make that. We have a very limited supply of that since we can't put it into the transmutation tablet, which well, <laughs> I've put quite a lot of stuff into already. And is something wrong with the ender chest that it's not emptying out or something? Uh, I'll look into that when we get up to the ship. There is still a bit more to show here, which is out at the back. Uh, I'm reserving that spot over there for food production for the colony after getting that set up. And this is basically my technical area, which has another tree farm, which is fueling, well, part of our power generation because most of our power is coming from all of these at the moment. <laughs> Uh, heat generators, which, well, are passively generating heat from the lava around it. And, well, I have a bunch of them, which plenty of room to expand if needed further. But so far, uh, <clears throat> power generation need is being met. Uh, this is constantly refueling itself by, you know, through this plant sower, which is just feeding into, feeding more yeah, saplings into it than it uses. Uh, yeah, we have an ore refinery set up over here, which, well, has gone through quite a lot of stuff already. Holy! And still more to go. And is there a choke point at the moment with anything? Some of these only but, work when they certainly have. Do we have to nuke but, gens? Uh, I hope not. Uh, we have one of these guarding... Close. I don't think the thrust helium with the nuclear power. Uh, there is some, well, there's uranium at least. So let's not not being on nuclear. There is advanced generators though. I've seen that pop up, but I haven't dipped my toes into that yet. So if anything is likely to go nuclear, it's probably this. <laughs> uh, yeah. word now again. Some immersive engineering stuff. Coke 
uh, ovens which turn coal into coke and make creosote oil which is needed to make treated planks for all of the immersive engineering stuff. Let's see. Uh, all right, they, they'll confirm me it's the one uh, you found. Okay, Sent. I'll, I'll, I'll look into that once uh, our power consumption starts to outgrow these tree and heat farms. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is doing a lot of things. We have water being separated into hydrogen and oxygen, which is being used to fuel these pro these processes. The hydrogen is being brought over here, along with chlorine being made from brine, made into hydrochloric acid, or hydrogen chloride at least it calls itself. Um, okay, it's just full at the moment. And here we have some create stuff, just a crusher, turns ores into dust. A uh, plate maker with a mechanical press. We just... Let me just grab some iron, because we, we always need iron plates for just about anything. Uh, a stack will do. I just throw that in there. It comes out as a whole stack due to this thing. And then it gets squished one by one. Let's see, you can get like 300,000... <laughs> Where every second on one of my walls with that, I need two. Okay, yeah, that's that's quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be an overkill for us. Yeah, uh, in the back here we have some resistive heaters heating this thing up, so it's well to speed up its production. And finally, an, a mechanical crafter here, which I may use to make these crushing wheels. And that's about it at the moment for the base. Um, we still have a little bit upstairs in our starter ship. Uh, we've built quite a bit around this. Uh, we have some Ars Technica stuff. No, not, Ar not Ars Technica, Ars Nouveau stuff over here. With an imbuement chamber. With a well, hopper on top of it. So I'll just give a little demonstration of what that does. Just take a stack of this. Shove it in there, then they get put in one by one, and well, through the use of source magic, it's get turned. It's get it gets turned into a source gem, and then this this little guy springs to action. So let's hope it doesn't take too long. Well, <laughs> uh, I, the moment we turn our back, that thing is going to change. I'll just keep it inside still. We have some evil craft stuff here. Mostly a blood infuser, a drying basin, and just a tank of other blood that can't actually be used with that. That is... That we've been using for to power these brooms here, which we can actually use to fly around like a witch. <laughs> and yes, people. He... He basically loads the brooms with blood like it was a can of gas into a car. Yeah. Um, as you could see, the little guy uh, <laughs> just picked up the source gem and put it in here, along with other random junk that comes in from the ender chest here. And I'm, I'm guessing the reason it wasn't... No, we, we should have been close enough for it to be rendered in. Uh, yeah, here we just have a box full of magical stuff. I'll need to get into this to remake all of my mage armor. I don't want to put that there. I'll also have to remake our bloody uh, spell book. Or did I have a spare laying around? I think we accidentally cloned it at one point. Uh, it, there, it, there it is. It. There's the spare. Let's see. Do we still have all of our, our glyphs unlocked? Oh, yes, we have still. We still have all of our glyphs unlocked. So that that makes things a little bit easier to take. Nice. Uh, Odin. <laughs> and then we have a little enchanting area here. Some potions that I had stocked up. I was actually going... Actually, we're going to... We were... Yeah, I was planning to use these for the... Uh, the foundry attack, which is this area over here, which we plan to take over. And some enchanting supplies. And here we just have a lot of storage. I probably could make a... Or is that... Even into in this mod pack, I think it is. Uh, let's see, no extra storage, no. Ref refined storage. That is the one, I believe. Yeah. 
we we could make a a refined storage system at one point. <clears throat> Pardon. To just store all of this away, or at least as much as possible. But actually, we should have enough for... Yeah, we should be able to have enough power generation going that it can keep running without running out. It's not like we would lose all of our stuff if the power would go out, but it, we would be denied access to it. And yeah, just more random stuff. I should probably throw most of this into the transmutation tablet, but I just do not want to lose all of that stuff. And yeah. here we have an Ars Technica enchanting area. We, I, I was making the using this to make you know, more Drigme or summon Drigmes, but I haven't found any of those in the wild in a bit, so I can't actually summon more because I need their crystals. Oh dear. Um, yeah, simple brewing setup, Mage Bloom for our stuff. I still have to figure out what more we can do with Coral Tombstone. I know this orb around it means something, but I forget what. Uh, uh, by the way, can I take a look at the map? Yeah. Yeah, look at Oh, I see now where uh, you duck up to now. <laughs> yeah, it's around here that we dug up. <laughs> the colony is underground. Uh, well, because we I didn't dig straight down or anything, it's off place from our ba base here. Some wind chimes, our original little hole in the wall, a failed experiment over here. And here's where the animals are all at at the moment. Uh, yeah, I managed to find and capture some llamas to add to this. And yeah, we have a, a Drigby hovel or a Drigby hench. Which is very useful because they actually sh they shear material from the animals around them. I think that one is yep. It's currently at at yeah, at work. Basically, uh, they're just getting the, they're just getting the items from them without actually harming them. And um, let's see. Well, I'm breaking vampire survivors. <laughs> okay, uh, I tried that for a bit. Um, I should probably continue with that for at some point. Uh, you have to show me that sometime. Probably. Uh, let me fix this for a moment. Uh, yeah, these chests, they're sitting on top of... I'll break this for a moment. Harvester pylons. Uh, what mod? Oh. It's uh, all the mod 7. It's a pretty chunky one, but... Then again, it's called all the mods. <laughs> it has a lot of them. It has like uh, 300 plus. Yeah, and this one with the Drigmis or Ars Nouveau? Nouveau? Ars Nouveau, I believe it's supposed to be said. Thank you. I could. I, I have probably pronounced it without sounding like an insult. <laughs> Oh, they picked the name. It, it prob ours probably means art in Latin or something, but uh, <laughs> it's far closer to something else. And it sounds exactly like something else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm -hmm. It does seem that these pylons aren't actually working that fast. Oh, 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 that's why they ran out of tools. Okay, I should find a way to deal with that. May, may find a way to automate it. Uh, let's see. You sound like you have way too much work just to try to automate it. And when you try to make successfully automate it, that looks horrible. <laughs> yeah, because then it just needs to be refined. Okay. Or hit underground, if possible. Yeah. I don't play Minecraft, I don't own it. But I do enjoy watching it, but... At some point, I even see people do, trying to do automated stuff. Sometimes it's okay, otherwise it's just... It's just looking like a horror movie, basically, for me. There we go. And then this one... Hmm... I, I could probably set up some pipes to have the... <clears throat> the stuff pulled out of the chests and uh, have new... Uh, have new tools be piped in from underneath 
But yeah, I'm going to move this downstairs eventually. Uh, last bit here is the source jar and the agronomic source link. Basically, this thing generates source from plants growing near it, which gets put into the jar, which then powers or f helps feed the Drigmies. Yeah, if you had some magic dirt on those, the plants would grow faster and fuel it faster. Uh, true, that would be magic farmlands from uh, Arcanus and Forbidden. And uh, here we have uh, our quote-unquote host, if he's still awake at the moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hear him. Gavin's in here. And, uh, well, he was being very nosy, so we just locked him in with a block of gravel, and he didn't take too kindly to that. <laughs> Correction. Helium blocked him inside. I wasn't around when he did it. Uh, you were around in spirit. Um, let's see. Sleep. <laughs> I, think, I think I was asleep when you did it. When you did it off screen. Yeah, good chance. Now, let's see. Uh, we have an ocean temple here that I cleared out on my own. Uh, yeah, a TV glass is very useful because for one, it blocks off water and such and mobs can't move or see through it, even though it's see through. And if you step into it, uh, well, it actually counts as an air pocket as well. So just using a bunch of ethereal glass, I basically found the Elder Guardian, or Elder Guardians, actually, and managed to kill them after lots and lots and lots of trial and error. Holy. Uh, let's see. That is the mountain mine where I found all the modium for the... Mining turtle, which I then promptly forgot to keep using. And yeah, I've explored quite a lot of this map, which causes it to take quite a while to actually <laughs> save up. Okay. Uh, I haven't done a mob farm yet. It is on the to do list somewhere. But seriously? Uh, mechanism we just got in the start. Very room. worried. Aquatic gear can be removed. Uh, we could make a mob grinder with the create stuff, but there is actual mob farming material or mob farming items in here as well. Uh, let me yeah, or see. Yeah, ours Novo does have mob materials, things that have you farm. Like, you basically anything that falls inside a, a certain things area instantly dies. Let's see. Pushes mobs in the facing direction. Mob grinder and a drop of evil is really good. Okay. Uh, yeah. A drop of evil? Uh, I think what? he means evil craft with that because evil craft has spikes that you can put on the ground, uh, which I hope leave, uh, drain blood as well then. Uh, let's see. The mob fan pushes mobs in the, uh, distant, uh, in that direction. Mob Masher, Advanced Modular Mob Grinder can be enhanced with Mob Masher upgrades. Mob Mash do count as player kills. Okay. And XP, oh, XP Solidifier. Solidifies Fluid XP. It requires an XP Mole and Fluid XP in its tank. Okay, that would be very useful. And an Entity Spawner. Can spawn mobs in a 3x1 three by, three by area. Use a Mob Egg in the top slot. Okay, that would be difficult though, because... Uh, actually, what? Grizzly bear spawn egg. Okay. What the? What just happened to chat? Uh, I whatever happened, I didn't see. Uh, uh, it took more. It gave everyone a bit of a grayish background. It, it, it it's easy to read, but uh, it came that, out of yeah. nowhere. Uh. Yeah, I changed up the chat box a bit. Uh, this was the best way to keep stuff from uh, being pushed down to the middle for some freaking reason. Uh, and yeah, it it works, certainly. It could probably be made better, but I'll do that some other time. For now, it's good as it is. Um, let's see, they're all... it's night, so the col uh, colonists have gone to bed. 
Uh, yeah, we could we could start on a mob grinder. I'll need to find a bit of a place for it. Maybe over here. It is outside of our current border. But I could probably just put a guard tower nearby. Uh, there we are. To expand the you know, the border out uh, this way. I probably should since these are in my outside of the territory at the moment. Um, oh dear. Oh dear. Actually, we could we could technically turn this into a mob grinder as well. We we just need to enclose it. Uh, oh oh great. no! These cables broke. Probably because you walked into them. I didn't actually know that would happen, so uh, I don't. But you did get one spare cable. You get it sapped from a cable from breaking them would make sense. I walked through them before, not entirely on choice, but okay. Hmm. But yeah, well, we could make something like this, put an extra arm on it. Um, not actually, I don't actually know if mobs can stand on these contraptions. I know that uh, we can, so mobs may be able as well. So we'd have to put in something else that would knock them Yikes. off. Uh, maybe, spikes. maybe spikes, yeah. Um, for now, where's that hammer? There's that hammer. Just... Hey, you could also could put cacti on them. Mm, true, though cactuses have a habit of destroying items that get, that get dropped on top of them. Oh. So, yeah, it wouldn't be useful for that. Yeah, it. That's yeah, tricky. That oh, bloody heck. Okay, I, I guess you using underground, you'll be able to hide the damn uh, mob grinder. So you just don't have a, like you know how people build mob grinders on the surface. Yeah, just big st stone towers. Um, yeah, if we, even actually... that. Me... Sorry, go on. Uh. I actually collected a bunch of spawners as well that we could actually just put on top of it for them to be ground up. <laughs> oh dear. Wait, will that mean you you don't need to make a big hole for it, just a small one? Yep. Now that sounds more practical. Yep. Uh, let's see. But yeah, like sometimes I see people try to make the mob farms look like a regular tower, but many times they don't. It just looks like a abomination most of the time. <laughs> okay, let's just... A 9x9 nine nine area should be big enough. We can put a... Actually, hmm. There might be one little problem with a mob grinder. That is, these saw blades don't actually reach the middle area. Hmm. So that could be a bit of a blind spot for them. There won't be a hole like this one. But that might be something to keep in mind. For now, let's just keep digging. Oh dear. Here I hope we will be attacking the foundry. <laughs> now we have the potions ready for that for whenever we do. Let's see. Hmm? Drop of Oh, dr it's an item. Let's see. I think I think I've heard of them. I, I think I've heard the Yogg's cast uh, use that. It's a drop of Evil. Okay. No, it's not in the mod, actually. Okay. I'll have to take a look at where, what mod that is a part of, then. It might be renamed hmm. or removed from the mod, even. Hmm. I'll still look into what mod it is. It, it does sound like it would be part of Blood Magic or Evil Crafts. Now, the ads uh, makes it look uh, for uh, mod, for mod packs or mod specific look like at create it'll show everything of create but let's try that all the same uh, drop of yeah it still doesn't do it it's sorry hmm. oh dear I'm so worried for this colony. 
Yeah, it's not in there. I can probably look into adding it. Speaking of adding, I should grab some torches to hang up. Just throw all of the extra stuff away at the moment. Extra, util extra util utilities too. I just made my tongue recently. Uh, you can look that up, yeah. No. Do you want to leave cats grab it? Maybe. Remind me to think Oscar or, or uh, Inculator. <laughs> uh, let's, <laughs> let's throw that out at the moment. Okay. Just going to send some stuff over to storage so that we are not burdened by it. Uh, I'll take that back. That's a revolver speed loader for, well, a revolver that I made. I am so concerned. <laughs> and that's most of the stuff that we can send off at the moment. Let's see. Yeah, very obviously they will spawn here if we don't do this. Now then, um, digging up the under area. No, actually, that we don't have to do much of an under area. Only thing we really need to be putting underneath is uh, the water wheel for powering, because they work up in their sides. So we would have just actually. In, hmm, no, that won't work since we have this open. Uh, yeah, let me just fill this back in a bit. Then we put the water wheel here, seal this off, seal off the area around it so nothing can spawn out of it. Okay. Water, a bucket, and the water wheel. And not like that. Like that, okay. Then we put in one block to avoid this thing from jamming itself, because if the water flows against it, then it stops working as well. So there we go. Then we just put that back, that away, again that. Oh, and dear. let's see, what was it? Chassis? Yep, radial chassis and then linear chassis. We'll grab a bunch of that. Solves we can't actually put into there. Oh, I forget one thing. We need a mechanical bearing. Uh, I have a friend of a friend of mine who probably would know a lot of this better than I. Not like that. There we go. Now, if I right-click this, it doesn't do anything at the moment. But if I put the chassis on top. There. Now it's a contraption and keeps moving around. Let me grab some slime to act as a glue. So there and there. Actually, I might as well just <laughs> do all of the parts. And then we put these on the sides. As long as these are facing the same way, they will stick together. So... If I do this now, now it would whack me in the face if I kept it going. It won't actually do any damage. There. And there. And there. Now, oh, we, we will still need something to possibly knock them off if they get stuck on top of it. Uh, how we do that, I don't... Hmm. Actually, we could probably we could probably have some water flowing from above it. That way, how would that actually re react with itself? First, though, let's uh, grab some bricks. And do we still have the engineering wand? No, not the engineering wand. The construction wand. That yeah, the building wand here. Okay, so then we just do 
this. And there we go. Easy building. I am so concerned. Silly. Let's not get cut by the saws again, because they will hurt us as well. And why didn't it fit out on this side either? Okay. There we go. And now we fill up the edge around it. I might grab that coal some other time. And there. Um, let's see. I'm going to put in some windows. Actually, we can use the ethereal glass since that act. For some reason, glass can't be put into this thing. But ethereal glass can. And, well, since mobs can't move through that, but we can. And it's not going to be high enough for us to pass through anyways. We're just going to do this. And then just continue on. I don't know if that'll affect the light levels, but the spawners will work if we just put them above here anyways. One, two, three. Okay. Um, we will need one hole in this. Actually, will that... I've, it's a bit finicky with how solid these things are. So let me just chuck those out a moment. Put, I don't, I need to glue it up first, I believe. So oh dear. Yeah, we, that can't be glued because it's not an open side. Uh, luckily for that, we have super glue, which, well, just makes anything stick. So there and then there. Do you look for extra utilities too in the mod pack? Extra, you. Yeah, it's not in here. Uh, I'll look into adding that into the pack after this stream then. For now, yeah. there's actually no need to do that yet. Just make sure it's compatible. Uh, there's typically some uh, mods that will. Well, repair stuff like, or <clears throat> will make it that things like that do work together. Okay. Uh, needs to be an empty hand. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> um. Oops. <laughs> Well, okay. The question is, would they be able to escape? Uh, depends on the sol solidity of it, but we have accidentally made a carnival, right? Uh, wait. Wait, <laughs> I, have, I have a fix. I have a fix. Possibly a fix at least. Uh, you remove the tip and replace it with a saw. Uh, I think this will do for now. So let's reactivate it again. Oh, no, it, it's... Oh, yeah, it's still keeping contact over there. Uh, take that out, that out, and that out, and then repeat on each side. Oh, that one as well. Actually, it's probably that one that's specifically keeping contact. I'm not sure if they keep contact diagonally. Probably not. Probably good idea to test. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. Oh, the hospital has been finished. There we go. <laughs> now the walls aren't uh, a merry-go-round again. Okay, just turn you off. You, you could probably make a quite an obstacle course with these things. Oh, oh dear. 
I should have made a bigger hole. There we go. Okay, just leave that as is for the moment then. Uh, where is the connecting point? There it is. I don't actually need to move that. I only need to put down the other end of it, which is this one. Uh, not like that. There we go. And then we just place a chest behind it. Did you put it a little bit too far away? Yeah, actually, no. Um, yeah, let's just let's just plain put a diamond chest here to make sure it always has room. Now, if this thing works as advertised, it should stop, connect, and empty out. Okay. And that also gives us a perfect time to disconnect connect that thing. Okay, now all we need is a bunch of saws on top of it. And actually, we could probably just put a bunch of saws on top of it, literally, as well. Yeah, I was just to suggest that, actually. Just wait for a moment, and I did not interrupt you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mechanical saw. There. We need three iron plates, one iron, and an andesite casing. Iron and andesite casings we can get from the tablet. The plates we cannot. I have the makes... odd world flashbacks from this. <laughs> it is very odd world like, yeah. Where it's going to be. Uh, oh, great. Get your creeper cakes, skeleton pudding, and zombie filet. <laughs> Give me a moment, I'm gonna gag. Okay, just ensuring we have some room for a moment. I'll sort all of that stuff later. For now, and the site there. Yeah, Project E. What this point thing is from makes all makes all of this so much freaking easier. Otherwise, we'd have to manually make these or automate the production of them. And with that, I always run the risk of just overproducing something and running low on something else. Yep, not that. More reason why I usually against automation. It's a good risk of just running a bit too wild. Like, you think it's going to make your life easier. But more than often, I say it seems to be making you way more new problems. Okay, let's see. 4, 8, 16. 32 we should make. If we want to just have them blade have a blade on one end. So we'd actually need more than this. But we'll see how much we get at the moment. 16. Okay, 21. I can always just send more iron through the plate, you know, or through the press. And didn't I have some stashed? Uh, far from enough stashed, at least. <laughs> okay, iron. No, wait. Do you even you only need one of those rods filled with salt? Uh, we would technically, yeah, but it <laughs> it would be a lot more fun to just have four of them running <laughs> around the whole time. As long as it doesn't break the game. <laughs> okay, first we just glue this up. Right. Is that why you gathered my snot when I had a cold? No. <laughs> there we go. And for the rest, we can use super glue, which we can use a lot easier by just putting it in the offhand. And uh, not like that. Oh, oh well, just grab this. There we go. This stuff does have a limited use, but they're pretty easy to make. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, just some slime balls or slime of every any kind, a plate and a nugget. And 
Oh. Hmm. Would they even work like this? I guess we'll find out in a second. Otherwise, we can just put them on top like that, maybe. Hmm. They should work for... Otherwise, they should work uh, on the other things we made. Uh, I, th <clears throat> I think the developers were just being smart with this. By uh, They knew that they were uh, people were going to make automated uh, sawmills with these things. Um, yeah, let's just dig under a bit. And we'll find the water... Yep, the water wheel. Uh, I probably should have put this thing a bit down lower so we'd actually have easier access. Or a uh, uh, switch remote. Bucket. There. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it's only I'm up to respawn inside with you. I can see it happen now. And then we just put it back down again. There. And instead, we put a shaft in between. There we go. Oh. You need water to power it. Yep. <laughs> of course, yep. I'm <laughs> being stupid. Okay, there. And there it goes. Okay. Now, are the saws on top running as well? No, they are not. Okay. So that doesn't work. Hey! Oh, they actually, are. Yeah, they are. They are. Okay. okay. It's just it's, you. You don't see it from the under angle. Like one side, they're not moving, but the other side, they're all moving. Also, when it stops to re to, to unload, they stop moving as well. Okay. So we know that that works. So we can turn this thing off again for a bit, and just keep putting on more sauce. <laughs> Uh, Jigsaw is going to be jealous at this. Sauce or sauce? Saw. So, uh, <laughs> your pick. <laughs> I guess you could say the sauce is murder. Okay, uh, those for. sauce uh, and landed a bit differently, but they hopefully should still work. Yeah, they probably will. there. Now we just need to make some more for the rest. If you need some... Um, um, volunteers. <laughs> yeah, we can, use the, we can use the spawners for that. Oh, dear. Okay. This is enough for 13 more. Two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Yeah, it it is, is annoying that certain things just won't be put into the alchemical si or the, in the, the project E stuff. Oh dear. For some reason, I'm not be surprised if someone built something like this just to get meat and leather from cows. <laughs> uh, it's horrifying. Uh, but very likely. Okay. Oh, we're... We actually have one spare. <laughs> nice! Uh, uh, uh. Should have seen that one coming. Oh, dear. No. Alien in a nutshell. Oh, we don't fill up that yet. Oh, sorry, sorry. I mean, healing a seashell. I need to remember pirate puns. Yep. 
Okay, need to keep this thing unconnected for the moment. Um, it's over here. Okay, still unconnected. I don't think anything should stick to the sawmills. But just for certainty, going to keep an extra block open. And uh, let's see how that spins. Oop, it spins. It doesn't seem to have taken any blocks with it. <laughs> it does look like some contraption from Mad Max. Dear, this is madness. And we aren't even in Sparta. I bloody knew it would say that. I bloody knew it. Okay. Now we can probably just let that thing run. So we don't have to seal... Otherwise we'll have to dig all of these outer bits up again. There and there. That should still keep a connection due to the opening. Yep. Even if so it's a bit they, on the line. If I were playing Minecraft and using this mod, I, I probably just keep to the water wheels. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we just need to have things spawn on top of it. And yeah. Okay, the, the machine will just collect everything on its own, or at least it should, I believe. Uh, some ladders. Dear. Okay. Now we just dig up the area above it. I hope I expect you now to just accidentally uh, dig into a you. Water source. <laughs> and then it will go for yeah, then it'll then it'll become a smoothie blender. You... No, I don't think it will be a smooth blender. I think just because you'll be keeping forgetting to empty out, it's gonna be to like a two storm smoothie. <laughs> Okay. From all the fish. Uh, there wouldn't be any fish spawning, maybe silver fish, but I don't those don't drop anything useful. But they're not actually fish. Actually probably best if I don't dig up above the wall so they can actually stand on them, so I'll just I'll block those off in a bit. I'm mostly just going to be using them for footholds. And not to fall into um what 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 should we call this monstrosity? <laughs> the blender. Nope. And this thing broke. <laughs> Alright, for some for chat. Bro got two viewers. Two skulls. Yes, that's typically two more than I usually get. <laughs> oh. Uh yep. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you two for sticking around at least. Uh, Sentai Tadpole, and let's see, your boy, please. Yeah, you look, <laughs> your boy, please. <laughs> uh, I hope I won't be too boring or anything. And yeah, let's just enjoy what time we have. We still have. Let me see the timer. An hour. Okay. Hour yeah. Left. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Minecraft stream is usually calm, except when Helium goes on adventure. Yeah, into then the ladder, we... <laughs> into the foundry. Why is yeah, you think we get the idea. Something usually happens. Oh, that's one block away. I need to put in a better upgrade, but okay. It's only one row. I accidentally interrupted you, Leanna. What were you to say, Helion? Uh, I've actually forgotten again. <laughs> because my memory <laughs> is as leaky as a sieve. Uh, 
Okay. Just throw some cobblestone at this thing because it has a cobblestone part still. Making for very easy repairs. And there we go again. Okay. We'll probably... We'll hang the spawner or spawners. I'm probably going to just stick more in here just to have a variety of kills. <laughs> uh, we'll stick that in the middle. Uh, this should be big enough to catch any that spawn. Though we could also turn off their AI with the upgrades. Okay. Well, they should not be able to destroy it, so we you even need to? Uh, the problem would be more if they spawn outside of the uh, of the box. Oh. There, get rid of that. Okay. Let's let's not fall down. Actually, let's just fill this up so we don't fall out at the moment. We want to fall in even less. <laughs> okay. Then we just start digging up the wall. Uh, this, yeah, not the wall. The ceiling. I hope expected to dig into the lake. <laughs> now that's more... Let's... Uh, well, we'd be digging in a smaller <laughs> lake. <laughs> What? I was right. I was right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think this should be a good enough height. Maybe we can... Actually, I don't think these spawners, if we change them, are too affected by light. Or... Actually, no, blaze spawners aren't affected by light. So that was... That's why they keep spawning still. Uh, maybe we can stick up some redstone lamps in this place to serve as an on and off uh, button. Are you sure you want to deal with the redstone? Hmm. Yeah, it can be quite a pain, and that is exactly the middle piece. <laughs> okay, uh, first let's get rid of this... <laughs> <laughs> this cloud of stuffs chasing after us. Uh, anything? We can ditch the letters there. Yep. There we go. That's most of it cleaned. Okay. Then that is where we're going to hang the spawners from. Let's start with a simple zombie spawner. There we go. Oop, it's already dropping them in. And... Okay, it is getting hurt as it gets pushed around. There we go. Did that collect its stuff? Yep. Or it didn't... It didn't seem to drop anything. It dropped rotten flesh, but which we got for... Oh, I see our mistake. There's no storage on the thing itself. That's the problem at the moment. But that is an easy fix, no? Uh, yeah. Just need to turn this thing off. And dig this thing out. Let's wait for it to stop again. There. Uh, yeah, it actually needs to have an inventory to be able to move stuff. So we, we dig those out. And since there's already a, a plot of glue over there, we can just stick a chest to that. So, chest. There. Make sure this thing is detached so it doesn't do the merry-go-round again.
And there we go. I'm so worried. Okay, nothing else is running along. I only just dodged the tree farmer there. Okay. Let's fill these up again. And we continue the experiment. Oh dear. Goofy mm. ah. Yeah, yeah, I guess you goofy scream could be fitting here. For everyone dr dropping in. I forgot that this one actually had equipment on top of it. So yeah, these spawn these zombies spawn with some gear. Maybe they'll get dropped, maybe not. Hmm. And if they are dropping stuff, then they aren't it isn't getting picked up. Could be the well <laughs> could be the freaking magnet that I'm carrying around, which attracts stuff. So let's turn that off. Let it run a bit on its own. Get rid of this bloody soapstone because it's hardly used for anything. Hmm. Okay. Let's break this. It is make well. It I was going to say it makes them harder to kill, but they don't actually survive that long, anyways. Are they really just not dropping anything. Maybe put me other things to, for it to spawn in. Yep. Now that also might be a point. A, in front of us, a bit of a more. Rare drop. Hmm. I say that, and some other you have a rotten meat in your hand. Hmm. It could be that it don't. It doesn't count as player kills, and that because of that, it well, they 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 are dropping rotten flesh at least, and there's an opening there still. I probably should have noticed that when I still had an extra ethereal glass in hand. Hmm. Red. Okay, let's stick up the skeleton spawner. Those are more likely to drop bones. Oh, of course they'll need to be able to connect still. And still nothing it seems. So this experiment might be a failure. Uh, it looks like that. <laughs> Oh yeah, they definitely drop stuff. It's not it's just not getting picked up. This this isn't working. Uh yeah. Then <laughs> no create mob grinder then. Oh well probably for the best. Yeah. Hmm. Then again, we are not really exactly short on mobs. True. Uh not Yeah, to deactivate them we we can just stick on a torch again. Then at the very least they won't keep spawning stuff. Yeah. And by not sure the mob, I basically mean like in regular Minecraft, you may have to shut a lot for a dungeon as such, but here a lot of dungeons is around. Yeah. And we do find also those mindable experience or as well, so and mob grind usually for monster pots and XP. Yep. Yeah. Okay, turn this thing off again. Uh, yeah, we can still use the room for an actual mob grinder. Let's see, what was that mob? 
more again, more grind. Okay, why is it only showing? It showed more earlier. Huh. Mob grinding utils. Mob grinding utils. Alex's mobs. Odd. Uh, let's see. XP solidifier. How would we get fluid experience, though? For the moment, though, let's see. This would require iron spikes, swords, redstone, and iron. Iron spikes is... Okay, block of iron and three swords. First, let's just drop off some stuff. Hopefully this isn't getting clogged again, because it, if it, it needs a certain amount of materials at some points. Okay. Iron, one, two, three should do. We need one, two, three, yep. And then eight swords. One, two, three, and here. four, this is madness. Five, six, seven. And then we can quickly make some room by just slapping two together. A bunch together for the spikes. There, there, and there. Okay. One extra sword. Then redstone block. And three diamonds. Okay. One, two, three. There we go. And just put it all together, and there. Okay. Getting back into this. At least we have a lot of materials now if we need to make more tree farms. Or whatever monstrosity you plan to build next. <laughs> True. Okay. It, I, I can hear slimes. Has it? No, it didn't collect anything at all. Hmm. Now, at the very least, we know that those things do, or that they do connect at least. Oh, oh it's the glue that's making this noise. What? Yeah, it's the the glue breaking is making this <laughs> is making that noise. Uh, All right. Well. Now anything that can be put away. Mm. That one as well. Okay, you stick with now. Yep. Okay, just one block to fill this in. I might as well make it a fancy block. There, so we know exactly where the middle is. Okay. Now, what exactly what do you heck? do? Hmm. Oh, I, I recognize the icons. That's the icons of the uh, things you can build for it. Okay. Yeah, we the, don't the, the have... The ones. Yeah, let's see. A radius upgrade, okay. Bane of Anthropods, Beheading, Fire Aspect, Looting, that would be very useful. Uh, sharpness would kill them quicker. Yeah, quicker. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. 
But how do you actually work? Do you need power or anything, or do you just do your thing? I hope it does its thing. We can find out in a moment. Actually, do that there. And another brick. Because hostile mobs shouldn't be able to move through either. So this way, we at least have a safe entrance. Okay. Not so much for it just doing its thing, or do they need to get to it? Also, they can't see through the glass either. We need to activate it or something? Um, it could be that they need to be pushed into it, and that did a lot of damage, but then again, it's, it's carrying enchanted stuff. You were an enchanted act. Did you just... Really, Helion? Yep. Really? <laughs> you got slain by zombie breathing on hacks. Easily enough, easily, easily enough recovered. Okay. Um, the class, the classic way of getting way there it is. The classic way of getting mobs to a grinder is through water. So let's give that a shot. Yeah, they, they walk next to it. Very close a few times and did nothing. Like, do we need to turn it on or something? Uh, let me actually let me look up the mod. Actually, uh, let's see, mod grinding utils. Let's see, mod grinding utils wiki, or at least a wiki that uses it. Let's see, mob fan, iron spikes, mob mesh. An upgradable grinding machine requires a redstone signal to be activated. Okay. Right. In this case, redstone should be easy to work with. Yeah, just stick a lever underneath it. Yeah, uh, we can remove the water wheel now, I guess. And there, there. Okay. With that not that <laughs> does that is that even going to do anything oh yep it is okay <laughs> there now we put that away and let's see how that works now Uh, after getting Movement a bit more of space. truth, people. Movement of truth. Close the browser, so that's not drawing power. Okay, they are getting hurt by it. Though, they are also bouncing off of it quite a bit. Probably need more than one. Then where is the... Now we need to upgrade it. Where is the loot actually going? Hmm. Back to the browser. Okay. Uh, let's see. Needs to be... Uh, six upgrade types. Uh, it doesn't say... Hmm. Okay, anything killed by the mob measure counts as a player kill and drops experience. Hmm. Okay. 
another page. No. Uh, what does the Curse Forge page itself say about this? It has these. It's showcasing the spikes there. Let's see. Absorption Hopper sucks up items and experience and distributes to inventories and tanks. That. Oh, it's. That was completely blacked out. Oh. Let's see. Vacuums up items and XP orbs in a 7x7x7. Seven by seven by seven. Can configure the uh, push out of any side. Uh, Helian, you just leveled up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Ender Eye, Obsidian, and Hopper. Easy enough. Obsidian. And Hopper. Okay. Yeah, we can't we can't be sitting underneath this thing all day. So yeah, let's take you there and put the diamond chest underneath it. I'll probably go look for a zombie spawner that isn't carrying around you know, <clears throat> magical gear. There. Why not? Uh, it, well, totally, it'll be easier to kill, and they'll. They won't drop magical equipment that would uh, gunk up the system. Wait. Are you saying against valuable treasure? Let's see. North. And then south can be experience. And for experience, do I still carry around that tank? Yes, I do. And that should be getting experience, or liquid experience, if we're out of range at least. Uh, yeah, we could we could put in some of those fans in here to push them towards it better. Use the water as a guide at least. Let's actually do that. Mob fan. Okay, stone slabs, iron, and redstone. Uh, also, yeah, I have this big frickin' <laughs> riot shield. Let's see. Redstone, one, two, three, four. Yep. Oh, dear. Uh, one, two, three, four. We need 16. And stone slabs. But we need clean stone. So stone... Then go to the back here. Yep, there. Put most of that back. And that'll be enough. Okay. Now we make the fans. These probably need a redstone signal as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the rest. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay. Let's turn this off again. So we can get in. There. How do you get out now, Helium? There. Alright. <laughs> By making it a Tetris <laughs> block. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, do we even need the ward in here now? It'll probably help a bit, but we can try it out without in a second. Uh, first off, though, more levers. There. Yep, that activates it. it. Oh, it'll even push us around. <laughs> yeah, us, us. Ah. Yeah, you could probably make quite an obstacle course with uh, the create stuff and these fans. That's two defenses. True. Like uh, pushing mobs hmm. into lava. 
Yeah, I was planning to, if we are going to do the fortress on top, um, I'm not sure if we could even put a new town hall that close. But if we do, if we can, uh, yeah, I was, yeah, I was planning to build a moat around it, and we could use a lot, we could make a lava moat. That'd be a massive lava moat, and probably risky considering we both know the colonists. They see lava, they go, ooh, red water, let's take a swim. Uh, let's see, show area. It's a bit of a sad area. Okay, fan. Uh, wider. And uh, height, the height won't be needed, I think. Distance. Okay, that is feathers. Okay. Yeah, more than enough feathers. <laughs> Iron and redstone. Okay. Put all of those back. I could, probably, I could probably stash the arrows for my own use. But I can already make so many more that it probably won't be needed. Okay, that pattern. Yep, actually, I could just... I forget the iron. And... The absorption radius, that probably won't be needed yet. Okay. Dear. And let's see. We, we, we'll need. Surprise it needs feathers. Okay, now we put in one of these. Hmm. Okay, did it. Maybe you should put in the first one? Or is no, it... these are selective on each. Alright. Not that it's not showing that correctly, let's see. Is it due to the water? No, it's showing in the water here. But let's let's grab up the water all the same. Yeah, fine. don't be surprised if the water is giving some uh, prevention if it work properly. Oh, okay, yeah. It... Oh, that's odd. Well, hmm. it makes kind of sense. Otherwise, you're making waves. Okay, we just stick three of these in each and have add in some wide upgrades as well. Okay. And that'll be an effective mob grinder for the moment. Probably easier build mob grinder to make easier pretty aesthetically even. There. Yeah, we can we can tinker with that at some point. For now, it's just functional. Oh, wait up! I think it has made too many. Oh well, we'll have in we'll, we we have extra in stock in case this thing needs to be expanded then. Okay. Wait, too many? What? Yeah, I made six instant. I I thought we had to fill up uh, that one oh. there as well. Uh, oh, luckily, you... we we can just put them back into this. Who the first broke the fans? Uh, yeah, just get rid of all of that as well. Now, how much for these widening ones? Okay, just feathers and iron. And I threw out all the feathers. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, what the? Oh, you must have spawned on top. Yeah, we should seal that off. <laughs> Only with glass. Oh, you know the special glass you have? Yeah. Okay, we need... Actually, let's see what one of these does. It probably widens it in both areas. Uh, yep, okay. Um... I think each will need two then. I think they're actually seeing the spawner or the, the grinder as a hostile uh, when they're actually being attacked or something. They yeah. can't attack it themselves. We'll need seven more of these. So, another of these that makes it five wide. I don't think we'll need to up their height. Yeah, I don't think you need to do that. And that should be that. I, there's, there are a few hidden, there are a few safe areas in the corners at the moment, but they mostly just fall right into the, <laughs> into the flow the moment they spawn. Yeah, and they usually don't stay in corners for too long, Ian. Yeah. We could even screw with these to increase the amount of uh, spawns that, or the, the spawning speeds. Uh, don't forget to... Uh... Hello, loot! Let's see. Is there a way to get spells out of these or something? <laughs> I think so. I think so. Yes, we got how? Like, I think you people be able to draw out enchantments and put them into other things. Let's see. Gilding? No. What even does that? Enchantments. Hmm. Let's, let's do another quick look here, now, since I have the browser open all the same. Uh, for, it, it should be in vanilla Minecraft even. And in some mods like uh, Hidden Arcana, I think. Uh, disenchanting, it's called. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. As much as you may hate Kovil, it is your only option right now. Okay. You can get an easy graveyard going. Silk touch a zombie, a skeleton and spawn and modify it with Apotheosis. That's the, that's the mod. To spawn on holy amounts of undead. Um, need for the graves and books of disenchantment. Then level up your knowledge of death on the disenchantment category. Okay. Let's see then. This and chant. Here we go. Book of disenchantment can strip some enhancements from an item and return them as books. And mycelium generator, what? Disenchantment dynamo. Okay, for these we need grave dust. Okay. Actually, they haven't dropped any grave dust yet. Hmm. Also, let's disable these. We don't really need to see that. Yeah. At least we have made a functional mob grinder. Yeah. And that zombie landed in the corner, but he moved out of it quickly enough. And we yeah, can like, always just make some upgrades to make them wider again. Yeah, and again, I say this, the mobs are not bright. Yeah, they they're specifically only spawn in the dark. Yeah, and they will not be smart enough to stay in the corner. Um... Actually, Actually, you could just fill up the corners. Wait, that's one of those bloody adventurer skeletons, I think. Let's see. 
I'm going to move these to up here. Then I can just have a little control room up there. To put in... Uh, to put up a torch. Yeah, like that. And then we do this. Then there will be one spot or a, one spot where they can spawn without landing into gen into the place, but we can just put a a fan up there. So let's we'll actually dig out a hole for it. You could just, you could just make a wall there. Uh, true. Because at least it will keep them from landing on it. Okay, just a bit too far to grab them there. Uh, but. You just... Yeah, they're... <laughs> It'll get picked up down there. Okay. Speed up a bit. We need to be standing here to be able to reach these. Oh dear. I smash this. This does not become a spawn more place. Okay. There we go. Now this is mostly safe. We're, I'm still going to up the, the wall some though to fill up. Yeah, these uh, bare ones need some stone walls. What the? You, you... I got shot with you something that caused bleeding. Might as well have the entire wall be stone bricks. Ah, <laughs> uh, in that way, for aesthetics. Okay, okay. Plus, any, yeah, any skeletons that spawn, we have more than enough food and the shields. Speaking of... And, yeah, since they don't have armor, they die even faster than the zombies. Okay. I'm not going to paint myself into a corner. And I'm going to work from the top down. Do all, do all the skeleton arrows now cause bleeding, bleeding or something? I don't think so. Hmm. Might be some elite skeletons. Yeah, these should be just box standard skeletons. Okay. But they are very armor, enchanted armor, and enchanted bows. So it wait. It might be they are you. One of them may have enchanted weapons and shooting you with it. Maybe. For the moment, you were slain. Need... Uh, you were slain earlier with a zombie with an enchanted axe like nothing. Yeah, but that's because the enchanter has, is set to spawn zombies with enchanted stuff. The skeleton one isn't. Okay. Unless it is, without you mm. realizing it is. Now, I'm not seeing any glowy stuff on the skeleton spawner. Well, it is a bit hard to do from that distance with a sort of small weapon. Uh, we are <laughs> getting beaten by our own bloody skeleton. <laughs> okay, so that also works on you. 
Oh no. Wait, why did uh, we soul bound? Oh, must have picked that up from uh, one of the zombies. Okay, let's turn those things off for a moment. <laughs> That'll get me caught again. And just moonwalk out. And there we go again. <laughs> well, good to know that we can get killed like that as well. Let's just yeah. uh, stick to accessing it from underneath. Not it. A good amount. And that's a lot of experience already. <laughs> okay. We're going drink to need a bigger it, drink tank. It. Experience lemonade. No, literally and figuratively, since while well, you're experiencing lemonade, and it is experience lemonade. True. Pink. Okay, that got picked up. Let's see. Thirteen buckets. Okay. Um, just need oh, a quick it, pipe. It, can you put the yours on top of each other? Uh, they can be put, but they won't connect to each other, I believe. Unless ah, you allow them to. Now, where is that? There's that configurator. I keep losing this stupid thing. And there we go. One empty tank and one ready to go for quite a bit more. Ooh, that's what we are doing. Okay. Um, let's see. XP solidifier. Oh, oh, that's, oh singularity tank. What the heck? Oh, that's simple. Iron and then glass. Okay. Glass is another that can't be made, so I just carry a bunch around all the all the time. We put away all the iron again. I probably should just carry around a stack of iron at all times as well. Oh dear. So that's the tank. And then just piston entity converter. Conveyor to move mobs and items along a horizontal ve ve vector. Mobs can spawn in this block. Okay. That's just slime, steel, not steel, iron. That makes multiple. Okay. Slime, redstone, iron. Redstone and... Iron. These slabs can go away because we're not going to use them for a bit. Let's just get a whole damn stack. Okay. Conveyor. Make. There. And then piston and hopper. Okay. Yeah, the Project E stuff is rather overpowered, but it may it's main limiter is just getting stuff for it but not really the main limiter is that you can only put out stuff that you've already put in okay now how do you work then do i need to pipe it back to you and do you make it into physical form Okay. Hmm. Okay, how do you work then? Uh, let's see. Absorption hopper, singularity tank, XP drain, singularity tank, XP tap. On a singularity tank, can be turned on the tower. 
That's not it. Mob Master, Entity Conveyors. Hmm. Wait, it doesn't actually... XP solidifier is not mentioned here on the page itself. And the inhibitor, no. Hmm. Also, I'm not seeing an XP tap here anywhere. Let's see. We have tree tap, we have packing tape. Oh, XP tap. What? What? Okay, obsidian and iron again. Obsidian. Some of these things can be really freaking hidden. Okay. Hmm. So if we can find a way to move that experience from here to the enchanting uh, area, or just move the enchanting area to shut that up to almost start auto playing something. Uh, yeah, if we if we move the enchanting area over here, we'd have easy access to experience no. to make books. Oh no! Why not just make a long? Why not just make a pipeline to the enchanting room instead? Uh, you, you are aware that it would go f up to the surface and then all the way over there to the boat. Have you forgotten about the arcane forge idea? Or it is no. face the uh, hall of artifices or whatever you would call it. <laughs> we were to make an entire bigger area for it. No, well, we have this area at the moment. It is a mishmash of everything. Did yeah, that table break again? It. Yeah, bro wait. Is that thing breaking the cable? If that were the case, then it would be breaking this one as well. That's still all the same. Let's move the pole a bit. Move the iron away on purpose this time. Uh, let's see, that needs the clippers, where the wire shears. Which seem to have been lost as well. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is really annoying, but this is what makes those crashes when they happen really annoying. I think I've managed to fix that by running the game in windowed mode now. Also, the hell is that red bar on the sides? Lower right corner. Hmm. Yeah, what well. is that? Is that... Wait. Is that a blood meter for your broom? It's not in the equipment at the moment, so it's not that, I think. Hmm. Yeah, we are definitely going to have to put in some normal... Uh, actually, yeah, if we keep them with... Books of Disenchantment. That would be good. Um, we would need uh, some way to get Grave Dust, though, or whatever it was called again. Yeah, Grave Dust. How is this gotten? Okay, kill on that mobs. Uh, a rare chance. Okay, rare. Ch okay, so it is a rare chance at the moment. Okay, so if we just keep this up as is, we should eventually start getting grave dust. Hopefully. So the more undead mobs we push into that, the better. Yeah. Also, I think I just recalled what we need to actually turn off the AI. We need popped chorus fruit for that, I think. Let's see. Purple block. And where is apotheosis on this? Wait, you can make you can make stuff out of chorus fruit. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
Do I need to use the UP? The heck? Arcs. Oh, that's the blue sky thing there. Um, let's see. If we press U on this, there we go. Okay, ignores players. So it will keep going even if we are not nearby. The soul that will allow it to ignore light. That would probably be bad for us at the moment. Permanent inspire the eyes spawns more at once. Okay, that would be very useful. Uh, gas tears for more maximum. Wool to make it silent or make them silent. There we go. Chorus fruits, no AI. Okay. And I believe that stays even if we pick it up again. So, one, two. That is... Yep, no AI. And no AI on that. So now they are no longer a problem to us. Or at least no longer a danger. Uh, whilst we're here... Uh, cave spider, spider, head spider, stray. I don't know exactly what strays do drop. But let's find out. After we get another Corvus fruit. What the heck is a stray? It's a... It's a... It's a type of skeleton. Yeah, see? It's basically the ice biome skeleton. Okay. I could probably just... Give me a second here to make this easier. Uh, trap door. Hmm. Not as good. But oh well. <laughs> it's good to keep uh... stuff from spawning on that. Hopefully. Oh, arrow of snowless, slow, snowless slowness. Okay, just shove that in there. Yeah, that is going to fill up with magical stuff really fast. Hmm. Pressure. Yeah, there is something else we can do about that. It is... nice if we could give the, some of them to our guards when possible. And yeah, they are very damaged and. They, guards need to be level 4 or fi 5, I think, before they can use magical stuff. Let's see. Redstone control. That's the one. A comparator, which we can't actually pull out of this thing, which also makes them annoying. Comparator. There. Okay. Quartz, stone, and three. One. One. Two, three. Here. Stone. And have you seriously almost spent two hours working on this? Eh, not just on this. I said almost. <laughs> okay. There we go. Achievement, adding a switch. <laughs> Enable redstone control for a spawner. Which means that we now just... Lever. And there we go. That should be off now. Oh. Okay, now we're getting... Skeletons? In Why are they now getting... Oh, oh they're, they're the strays, I think. And yeah, we you, have a straggler. You took his pants. And we're going to have we're going to have to put control on the stray spawner as well. Actually, let's just put it on all of them to make it a lot easier. We can make it ignore light as well then. Um. Like, imagine the glide the, the arenas you can make with these. <laughs> 
Yeah, that would be quite something. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just have a, a few spawners in a room, a locked door, and when the fight's about to start, just open the door <laughs> and watch the horde of undead march out into the arena. Now we can up we can up their spawn amount to quite a bit actually. I think the maximum uh, is uh, thirty two at once. Yeah, maybe don't do that. They're all off. And deal with this guy ourselves. Yep. Going for this again. Uh... <laughs> what was... There's a saying about donkeys uh, and not hitting themselves on the same stone twice. <laughs> Apparently I'm dumber than the donkey. Ugh. <sighs> But you do you you have to say you want to uh, tame some donkeys in Minecraft after all, so I still haven't yes, found more. any of the damn things. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't know. Like I, I keep forgetting donkeys are a thing in Minecraft. Um, Probably because they are so rare. Uh, let's see. Distance. Okay, there's three feathers and iron. By the, by the way, my leg broke down. Okay, feathers. Iron. No, I need four. There we go. And with this, all, all but the ones that get into the corn, absolute corners should get caught up with this. Oh dear. There we go. Show area. Yeah. Unless they're literally in a one by one area in the corner. They're done for. Uh, wait. Do I already... Sp oh, their set is active at the moment. Of course. There, that... Okay, they... they the, the flames go out to show that they are off as well. Okay, that is good. Uh, empty it out again. I'm not throwing out the iron this time. I'm going to put that into here instead. Not. Okay. And less than two wins remaining. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna forget the sign and miss it probably <laughs> okay now why the hell did this break uh yeah that, that stopped the production of this it still produced a hell of a lot maybe i need stronger uh yeah wires or something uh but yeah if we're since we're that close to the end might as well just Put as much as this through it as we can and see if we can get any more uh supremium which i want to make a sword well i want to i just want to make tools out of that in general but a sword primarily and looks like we're going to be short oh uh, now we can make one out of all of that four stacks makes one supremium uh, which makes two now and we need uh well, first of all, we need four of them. To, well, we need four plus enough to make a supremium gemstone to make a master infusion crystal because this thing has limited uses. We have a master version. Oh, warehouse is full, probably full of eggs. Again, we need a warehouse next to the food production. 
or where we should have the farms for full production. Yes, we have one for well, but here or something, and then one store just for food. Yeah, the food one would definitely help the restaurant a lot. Yeah. Uh, didn't I have? I had another. And I had another backpack, but that seems to have been lost as well. Luckily, I put basic versions in here. So let's just clear this out. And yeah. <laughs> Wait, carrots? Yeah, those are for the those are for the hospital next door. I should probably set oh. that to have a minimum stock of those. That's uh, yeah, I should I should probably just kill all the chickens and <laughs> leave only a few of them. Is this no actually there there probably is a way that I could automate egg uh, cooked egg production, but then we'd be buried in <laughs> cooked eggs. Okay, yeah, minimum <laughs> stock. Uh, carrots. Yeah, let's have that at four stacks. Then potato. Four stacks as well. And oh. There. Okay. The doctor was staring at you. Uh, hopefully they weren't talking about uh, the, you know, being the cure or something. And uh, one last thing up here. I've walked past this thing a few times. Uh, this is basically to, well, know how high I need to be or how, how high of a ceiling I need to dig out for the entire uh, area to, well, so the <clears throat> so the builders don't actually have to dig up anything themselves. Yeah. But also how we, we figure out where we are. Uh, Basically, this is how we, fi we figure out we're directly under the lake. I already knew that. You just didn't yet. Idiot, when I asked you, you said we were under the mountain. That is not much of a mountain in the, here in the first place. You, you, you thought we were under the mountain the whole time, or under a mountain. When did that... Oh, <laughs> the diving helmet must have been destroyed. Of uh, course. Yes. Diving equipment, of course, makes you well, move faster in water and survive Ooh. longer in water. Uh, someone's greeting us. I can't read the name for some reason. Uh, let's see. Yes. Oh, Pram C06, uh, been a while since we've seen you, I believe. Uh, <laughs> you have a bit of a bad oh, time hello. because we we were about to shut off the stream. Uh, oh, yeah, so, it's time. Uh, I'll I'll give uh, I'll give one more uh, I'll give one more tour of the colony that we have at the moment. Uh, hide all of the waypoints, especially all of those death waypoints. Uh, we have a builder over here who is currently, well, wanting to upgrade his own place. I'll give him his stuff later. We have a guard tower here, the university here. I need to hire an extra research because this thing is at level two. The courier's hut. And I believe the courier running around at the same moment. The hospital. The warehouse, that which was flooded until seconds ago <laughs> with freaking eggs. The forestry. Uh, yeah, it, it was Drakir's idea to build on the ground. It, it does have its problems because you need to dig into your ceiling the entire time, which is why I have that open platform over there. Basically, I'm going to be digging out everything around this place so that I don't have to do that again by doing it preemptively, so making me do it anyways. <laughs> uh, a housing sector. One, two... Three, four at the moment. There's another builder's hut. This one has upgraded quite a bit. And needs stuff for one of the housing upgrades. 
the restaurant the restaurant not <laughs> another tower over there another there and a tavern level level two a bit more of a site on the housing here and just more area where i'll be digging into with it uh, the town hall, which looks pretty simple at the moment. The the chicken pit, <laughs> which needs to be called. Uh, the create harvesters, a tree farm and a normal farm, though I haven't emptied this thing out at any time. So it's likely to be completely filled. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'll just take those. Where did that soapstone come from? It's Dump it all out. Uh, yeah. Here we have a little mechanical setup that I'll probably move at some point. Okay. Looks right. I, I tried all the mod 6 and did mine colonies, but I then gave up. Yeah, it's uh, it can be quite a drag. I, I played my, all the mod 6 before this, and I did get into it quite a bit, but uh, let's just say that my first colony wasn't complete and utter miss. <laughs> Not surprised. And yeah, this is just a bunch of tech stuff slapped together, a pump, pumping water, uh, a fluid extractor, drinking latex from the logs that get placed by this thing, but the system is completely filled at the moment. The other builders area, and what do you know? You still need stone, yeah. Is that all you actually need? This inventory, shove that in there. And okay, nothing else. Uh, we have a little tinker set up over here. This thing, uh, this this is this is an idea I came up with. Uh, it looks pretty normal, except for the fact that it's filled with bloody blazing blood. And the reason why it is filled with that. Oops, is because it has a blaze spawner in it. <laughs> and each blaze that it requires less blood to kill a blaze than it gives up when it's uh, well it's getting killed in here. So it's it's an infinite loop. And just a smaller one with some leftover materials. Here. A bug from Alex's mob. Um, I'm a bit of a disappointed with that mod, but it might be more because we installed it later on. So there aren't any spawn points for all of the mobs that uh, mod would normally add. Uh, cats, trader. Along this entire border on the ground. Uh, not that. Uh, there. I've, I've dug around the entire length to just wall it off. And... Yeah, then there's the mechanical area here that I've done but uh, I think you already saw this St another another tree farm which is feeding a charcoal generator which is feeding power along with well all of that a mess uh, <laughs> yeah but at least it's a spacious map a mess so uh, yeah let's go look for someone to raid the game has been very picky with music again for some reason. I don't get why. It's modded Minecraft just seems to be very unwilling to sound its music. The volume is up enough for it to be audible. It just hasn't popped up. At, it, made, it might have popped up once or twice here. Yeah, no, we had that same problem with own modded Minecraft. True. Hmm. Maybe we're just being unlucky with it starting. Or we, it's the game is telling us to get some freaking uh, music discs. Uh, Possibly. <laughs> okay, you made a chocolate factory in Create. Uh, did it have Willy Wonka in it? <laughs> I bloody knew it. Uh, too I easy knew you make the yolk. No, let's see. Uh, actually, below the below the stream, I should have had it a bunch of or not a bunch of a few extensions they're called or just tabs with links to other stuff for anyone interested this is oop, that was me forgetting to mute twitch and just some random stream getting a sound off 
Um, okay then. Let's see. There are some people online that we know. Uh, there is... Again, I need to check up how I how I found Kaiju Fluff. So who I've completely forgotten who the hell is. It might be a friend of a friend. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tatum is online. They're streaming Submerged. Hidden Depths. Is that a new expansion or something? Maybe. We, um, we could read them. Uh, yeah, just to just to provide a bit of variety, a few other options. Uh, Nemo Nemo is also streaming. They are Star Traders Frontiers. Not a game I've heard of. And then we have someone called Critical Rocket streaming Mech Warrior Five, which can be a pretty fun game in doses. Uh, I should see if Beanie's up for streaming that again. That was pretty fun when I shot right across his face. <laughs> He's gonna scare the crap out of him. Mm. Uh, so yeah, between those three, I'm guessing Tatum then? Little potato, yes. <laughs> okay, so as usual, jump into that channel, copying the name. I mean, the room. gremlin catapult. Since they... Gremlin cannon kept exploding the gremlins. Uh, yeah. Okay, I might need to find some smaller... <laughs> I, I'm looking at those panels underneath the stream now, and I may need to look for smaller icons for that, or just make something to not have it be so fucking big. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah. Slash raid. Paste. And before I start that... Uh, thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Pramsey, for showing up. Uh, thank you, yeah, thank you, your boy Fizz uh, and uh, Sentai Tadpole for showing up as well and sitting along a bit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm probably not the most entertaining. And oh, I see <laughs> Noon popped in at some point apparently, and we completely missed him. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, they went and, to bed uh, earlier. Yeah, and. Uh, Lethal Life, thank you for the raids. You are maybe not around anymore, but let me let me put up a, a shout out to you all the same. Let's see. S O Lethal Life. There we go. Oh, uh, thank anyone you, lads. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you for just just showing up every now and then. Uh ta -da -ta. Uh, yeah, anyone who isn't here from uh, Lethal Life, uh, go check them out. See what they're up to. I'll probably take a look myself. But for now... Uh, ta -da -ta. Yeah, thank everyone. Yeah. Uh, there's someone I should, of course, not forget to t thank, and that would be you, Drakir. Oh, you're, you're welcome, my friend. Yes, uh, yeah, to be honest, I probably would have given up on streaming like half a year ago uh, without your support through this. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. But until then, well, until then. Be safe, folks. Watch out for dire penguins.